Before we get into the video, I would like to shout out our newest subscriber, Sam Dunkley. Welcome to the channel. Now without further ado, let's get on to the character conversion. Greetings, my dear viewers. It is I, Drehon, and welcome back to another Dungeons & Dragons character conversion. If you're wondering where the 100 subscriber special is, don't worry, it's going to be Thursday. So don't worry, I'm still doing it, it's just taking a little while to get together. Had to make a few decisions on what I wanted to do for the tutorial. Today we are doing the Riddler. This is actually the third Batman villain that I have actually covered. The first two were Bane and Ra's al Ghul. Uh, Ra's al Ghul. Which, it's, us actually, it's actually funny. All three of these characters, Bane, Ra's, and the Riddler, are villains in Batman's rogues gallery that actually had an impact on Bruce Wayne as a character. Bane exhausted all of Bruce's resources before quite literally breaking his back. Ra's al Ghul tormented Batman for years just because Ra's wanted Bruce as heir to the League of Assassins. And then we have the Riddler, who is probably iconic right now for the newest Batman movie, The Batman, who also had a very interesting challenge for Bruce Wayne's character, and I must say, The Batman is actually one of the more realistic Batman movies that we've had in a while. And I just loved it. But that's neither here or there. The Riddler did actually have quite a decent impact on Bruce's life and his character. It actually showed Bruce that he could do more as Bruce Wayne than he could do as the Batman. Anyway, 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 that is a rant. Let's get back on topic. We are making the Riddler as a playable Dungeons and Dragons character. So, let's go ahead and get into things. Around here, we use the point buy system for our stats. So, strength is going to be a 10, dexterity is going to be a 14, constitution is a 10, intelligence is also a 14, wisdom will be a 13, and charisma will be a 12. The Riddler is human. We're going to go human variant for this build. This will give us a plus one in two of our stats. Go for intelligence and charisma. You'll also need a skill of your choice. I would say intimidation, especially if you're leaning more towards a Riddler similar to the incarnation found in the Batman. You also want the feat skill expert. Go ahead and grab the skill investigation for this one and give yourself expertise in intimidation. Furthermore, skill expert does give us a bonus to another one of our ability scores, so go ahead and increase intelligence by one point. Background. The Riddler is a criminal. Straightforward, nothing to debate about. Skills are deception and stealth. Tools, you get a gaming set of your choice. I decided to go with Dragon Chess just because that was a brain teaser sort of game. So it made sense for a brain teaser sort of guy to have a brain teaser game. You also get access to Thieves Tools and the feature Criminal Contact. You have a couple of buddies, two who are prominent figures in Batman's rogues gallery. Hush and Two-Face. I might do them as character conversions in the future, but for now, let's stick with the Riddler. 
Moving on to class, we're going to go with Bard. Now this is actually hilarious since in my last uh, Rogue video, talking about Bane, and also talking about Ra's al Ghul, I stated that more often than not, you're not going to be using Bard for one of Batman's rogues. But the Riddler? The Riddler sort of fits. It's kind of weird how well the Riddler fits into the Bard category. He's entertaining. Literally. He uses riddles to not only challenge the Batman, but he also uses riddles to torture his victims. And that's how bards operate. They use their form of entertainment to entertain and to harm. That's why they have Vicious Mockery as one of their spells. They can either entertain or they can bring harm with their words. And the Riddler uses words all the time. Riddle me this. Sure, he's going to be using a little bit of technology in with his riddles, kind of like Jigsaw. But more often than not, he's using his words. <laughs> so, yeah, Bard makes sense for the Riddler. It makes more sense to have the Riddler as a Bard than it is a drug addict and a guy who is addicted to immortality. Another rat. Let's keep going here. For your tool proficiencies, you get three musical instruments of your choice. Your skills grab sleight of hand, perception, and persuasion. Your spellcasting ability uses charisma, and you also have bardic inspiration. Speaking of that technology, we're going to multi-class into Artificer. This uses your intelligence modifier for your spellcasting proficiencies and tinkers tools and you also get that magical tinkering now let me be clear we're going to multi-class again so i need to be clear about this you do not need artificer for your build this is simply for the riddler flavor the riddler does use a lot of tech in his games. Like I said, he's sort of like Jigsaw. He's just a very watered down Jigsaw. He will use tech for a lot of his riddles. He does not use it all the time, so you do not need these Artificer levels. I have them in here just for the flavor of the Riddler. Now, Level 2 Bard, we get Jack of All Trades and Song of Rest. Now for level 3 Bard, we get a Bardic College. And we're going to choose the College of Satire. And I've got the description up here, but we're going to be taking a look at the next to last paragraph. Gestures are loyal to only one cause. The pursuit of and propagation of the truth. Of the truth. That was the Riddler's whole thing in the new Batman movie. Propagation of the truth. If that does not say Riddler, I don't know what does. Now, it also says that there are gestures involved in this. Even in the very beginning, it says, Bards of the College of Satire are called jesters. So if I ever make a Joker build, you will know that I'll be bringing this 
Bardic College up again because of that jester theme. But everything else, focusing on the pursuit and propagation of the truth, that is the Riddler in the new Batman film. So we are using the Bardic College of Satire. Now, it says we get bonus proficiencies in Thieves' Tools and Sleight of Hand, but we have already gotten those. So, we will change those over into History and Insight. We get the ability Tumbling Fool and Expertise in Investigation and Stealth. Actually, I don't think we grabbed Sleight of Hand, so go ahead and get rid of the History. No, get rid of Insight and replace that with the sleight of hand because I don't remember grabbing sleight of hand earlier. Either way, moving on, expertise in investigation and stealth, Artificer level 2 gets infuse item. Level 4 bard gets an ability score improvement. Increase your wisdom and your charisma each by one. Level 5 bard gets fount of inspiration. And level 6 Bard gets Counter Charm and Fool's Insight. It's about time we get into the Rogue Multi-Class that I mentioned near the beginning of this build. Because it is, in fact, important. Because, well, he's a part of the Rogue's Gallery. Duh. Duh. But that's not the point. He's a criminal. He is very good at what he does, and that is doing crime. But that's not all he does, and we'll get more into that when we get into the roguish archetype at level 3. For your proficiencies, you already have light armor proficiency and thieves tools proficiency. We're going to grab the skill Performance. For your expertise, Persuasion and Performance will be what you will want to grab. You also get Sneak Attack and Thieves' Cant. Level 2 Rogues get Cunning Action. Level 3 Rogues get Mastermind as the Roguish Archetype. For this build, we get the Abilities known as Master of Intrigue, which gives us <clears throat> it gives us pro proficiency in Disguise Kit, Foldry Kit, and one musical instrument of choice. Somehow I forgot the word that I have been using this whole entire video. <laughs> proficiency. We also get the Master of Tactics, which Holy cow, this is hilarious. Master of Tactics makes the help action a bonus action. That's useful. Not only that, it increases the range of the help action. Before, your help action was only 5 feet. Now, it is 30 feet. So, say your friends Two-Face and Hush were 30 feet away from you and fighting their own problems. <coughs> Maybe it's a, one of the Robins or something. <coughs> you can use your help action from 30 feet away as a bonus action <coughs> and still be able to take on your problem. <coughs> My apologies. Also, thanks to Tosh's Cauldron of Everything, we get the Steady Aim feature. Moving on to Artificer Level 3. We haven't shown any love to this class in a while. Let's go ahead and grab the Artillerist, just so we have an Artificer Specialist. And honestly, it sort of makes sense. Just about every single one of Batman's villains knows how to use a gun. Except for like one or two. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. 
Anyway, tool proficiency, wood carver's tools, your artillerist spells are shield and thunder wave. You also get access to Eldritch Cannon and the right tool for the job. Wurgenim proficiencies left, right, and center. Moving on to level 4 Artificer. This is the last level of Artificer we're going to use for this build. Go ahead and increase your Charisma by 2 points. Level 4 Rogues get an Ability Score improvement as well. Go ahead and increase your Intelligence by 2. Making it an 18. Level 5 Rogues get Uncanny Dodge. Level 6 Rogues get Expertise, Go for History, and Insight. Go ahead and increase your bar to a level 8 now, so that we can increase intelligence to 20. Rogue level 7 gets evasion, and rogue level 8 gets charisma as the final ability score bonus, making it an 18. And that is it for this build. I actually had to do this rather quickly, so I did not have a spell list for you today. And with that being said, this has been Drehan, and I am offline.